From Minnesota's most watched station, this is WCCO 4 News. Tom Bernard is talking. Well, that's not a surprise. It's what the radio host does for a living. But the reclusive broadcaster hasn't granted a TV interview in nearly 23 years until now. Right, but I like to do TV. You know, most people have no idea what I look like. None. But I look like a radio guy. I look like most radio guys look. I just do. That's just how it is. Frank, Frank Vassalero sat down with Bernard to discover the man who is a radio legend is now trying something new. The KQ92 Morning Show. I'm on every three seconds. God, I hate wearing this. <laughs> Tom Bernard has dominated morning drive in the Twin Cities for decades since his move to KQRS in 1986. He's a local guy. He grew up on the north side. He's one of us. Blois Olson runs Fluence Media. And he's a big personality, and it's a big show. And so he's literally been a newsmaker, been a newsbreaker, and people have lived that commute with him for, you know, longer than they've had their jobs, their kids their wives, their husbands. He's been paid millions to attract and sustain an audience that media advertisers crave. One, one two. There. That seems pretty good. It's going to be tough. So why does he need to or want to do something new and different? Uh, Louie. Oh, he's fascinated. <laughs> he wants to be on that show. He does. Really he wants him. to be on it. the best show on television. He's converted the theater room in the basement of his home into a temporary recording studio with state-of-the-art equipment. As a matter of fact, I did all the voiceover for George Dukakis when he ran for president. You remember Dukakis? He's the one who got crushed because of me. <laughs> From here, he was going to be a big writer in New York. He launched the Tom Bernard podcast less than two weeks ago. I want to be around my family, around my friends, and just, you know, I love it. I just love it. The, love it. <laughs> the family affair features nephew Sean as the podcast general manager. To the very fiber of his being. Son Andy helps with the technical side. <laughs> Like a crazy Daughter lady. Alex and wife of 27 years Catherine are on-air contributors. Why does Kim Kardashian keep tweeting pictures of herself in a bikini? It's like, why? why? That's all she's got. How's my audio quality, by the way? Your audio quality is <laughs> fantastic. Excellent. Bernard is so proud of his wife and kids, he wants them to share in his success. They're as funny, or a lot, they're funnier than I am, that's for sure. And they're really, really good people. And they're, they're sweethearts and, you know... I just want to share, yeah, that part I want to share with the world, I really do. When you tweeted that. A podcast is essentially a radio show recorded on the internet for someone to listen to whenever they like over a smartphone, iPod, or computer. Think of it like TiVo for radio. It's free for listeners. We were the uh, number one news and noteworthy in iTunes this week. Now he gets to control it. Olson says there are thousands of podcasts and most of them fail. He doesn't actually do that. Yes. <laughs> it's too hard to consistently produce quality shows and draw a large audience. Was this world-class athlete. Bernard hired former radio producer Tony Lee to work on the podcast. It really works for a certain audience. This day, K.P. Anderson, the head writer of The Soup, was a guest. We try to stay somewhat inside the reality TV realm. What's this all about? Bernard's team says they're experiencing tremendous initial success with more than 55,000 podcast downloads already. I think it'll be successful. One of the reasons is... Um, folks who have been successful in podcasting get to be yeah, themselves. My wife thinks that I'm going to fire her within the first five shows. This is show number four. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard's podcast could eventually make money by getting sponsors and advertisers, similar to how KQRS makes money. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you Nine-year-old girls are like that. It's more of a conversation than a show. Catherine has seen a metamorphosis in Tom when he doesn't have the pressure of carrying a live radio broadcast. All of a sudden, I start talking like this because I've been awake for 14 hours. He's kind of getting into a new personality which is himself more for this and it makes us feel like we're talking to you know my husband their father rather than Tom the radio guy all of it's disgusting not to say he's lost his edge it's just that here Tom is in control don't really like the edge that it has well, we he doesn't have to tone it up or tone it down for radio executives or advertisers Bernard is just doing what he's done best for years being brutally honest but hey you know what I do a radio show and if you like that, that that's really nice of you. If you don't like it and you think I'm an idiot, I, I understand that. That's your opinion. That's, I have no problem with that. Thank you very much. God, that was great. Yay. Thanks, guys. Yay. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> Bernard isn't giving up radio. He recently signed a new four-year deal with KQ. If the podcast eventually makes money, he is donating part of the proceeds to the Smile Network. The nonprofit told Frank that Tom has been a supporter for many years. And you can find his podcast through wcco.com slash links.